Before we start today's video, I want to tell everybody thank you for whoever came to the stream yesterday. It really means a lot, even though we had a bunch of hiccups. We eventually did figure it out somewhat. So anyways, thank you so much for being there, and I promise to make it up for you very, very soon. But today, what I really want to do is to hunt super, super hard for a dime potential Rocky Mountain Elk. That's all I want. We're going to hunt as much as we can for a dime potential Rocky Mountain Bull. So let's go see if we can't find one. So we're out here looking for Rocky Mountain Elk. And I just saw one of the biggest mule deer that I've ever seen. Right there he is. Look at the size of that thing. 316 to 378 on the estimate on that thing. I can't even believe the estimate on that mule deer. So we're out here on the bottom of uh, two fawns looking down here in these valleys for a big bull elk. And all of a sudden, I don't know, I didn't see anything for quite some time. I look up and there's just a massive rack. And I'm like, that's got to be a diamond. And sure enough, it is. It's a huge diamond. I bet that's probably going to be like a, I don't know, like 330s or something like that. It's just massive. But I have no clue where this thing's going. Kind of looks like it's actually working its way back up here, maybe. I'm trying to figure out where he's going to go and try and plan our uh, plan of entrance, I guess. Or plan of attack, if that's what you want to call it. But... I would say he's probably going to bed somewhere over here. That means we got to swing wide to the right so we have a good wind and come around the back side, kind of hook up around and maybe look from here. Okay guys, we've been looking for this mule deer for a little over 30 minutes now and I can't seem to find his next track. What happened is basically he keeps on kind of looping around. We spotted him here. I tracked him to this point here. And it says that he loops back around and it kind of brings us in a complete circle. Well, now I just spotted a random buck out here. There's a really good chance he's probably going to be with this buck. Oh my god. We found him. So basically what we did was we fast traveled back to this outpost here. Because I couldn't figure out where he went. And sure enough, we cut him off. There he is right there, 260 yards away. What a beautiful buck. Wow. Where is he going? I have no clue where he's going. But we got to get moving. There he goes right there. Man, just the estimate alone makes me just go crazy how big this thing is. Jeez. I hear another buck coming in. That's going to be that second buck that we saw. But apparently he didn't seem to want to hang out with the big buck for too long because he wasn't there. All right, so we last saw that giant buck right over there, tucked in those spruce trees. Well, he's probably gonna be... Let's check the map. We spotted him here. Going this way. He's probably gonna... He's probably gonna bed down... That's not him. Um, he's probably gonna bed down somewhere like right on top of this ridge here. Which is only like 250 yards away. So if we just take our time, we'll have a really good win, and we should be able to see pretty good once we get up here. All right, guys, look what just called right in the direction that we're headed right now. That should definitely be our giant buck. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I found him, I found him. Oh, we went prone as soon as I saw him. I think we're okay, I think we're okay. I don't think that's gonna spook him. He was about like 80 yards out, something like that. You see that tree right there on the right? He was maybe 40 yards to the right side of that tree. That's him. That's not him. Oh, it's a beautiful buck, but that's not him. Oh my God, look at that. I don't think that's him. Nah, it's an awesome buck, but it's not him. It's not him. But the one I just saw was definitely him. He's right over here. Man, we just passed up a giant buck. That was like a 260 plus right there. We're trying to slide over here so I can get some cover. 
Because I definitely just saw our diamond potential muley right over here. And we need all the cover we can get. He was right there. He should have bedded back down. Can't imagine he would have went too far. That buck just crossed right here. He didn't follow him. That means he should still be... That very well could be him. No, it's definitely not him. <laughs> it's a tiny buck. I'm going to say that he's still here. I'm going to say that he bedded back down. Where would the giant buck be? Okay, he's gonna he's gonna do a little drop kick and run away but that's okay okay so i turned the tracks back on and you can see right there that that buck definitely walked right through right there that's where i saw him <laughs> you know what i just thought of by the time we actually get close enough to this thing it's gonna be daylight out <laughs> we're gonna be able to see pretty good so there's tracks there you know what happened i think a puma came by and scared him yeah, he went this way. Holy, this buck is way too smart. I think a puma came by and definitely scared him. Because he cut back this way. Oh, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Oh my god, I'm so happy I could cry right now. We literally hunted for that mule deer for hours, and we couldn't figure out where he went. Finally, I lost his track, and I said, you know what, pretty soon it's going to be daylight. And well, it's daylight now, and I couldn't figure out where he went. We went down to the same valley, but on the opposite side here, and I can guarantee you that's him from a mile away. Just look at how wide that buck is. Holy, look at that thing. Wow. He's out there bedded right out in the wide open just because this buck is so, so smart. But let's get a resting zone on him here. There we have it. We finally got it. Man, that was a lot of work. A ton of work. I just found about two or three different bucks here, but none of them were with the biggest buck. And I couldn't figure out why he wasn't there well then we went all the way back over here on the opposite side and i'll show you where we're at right now you can see the tracks from last night where we were tracking them right remember he looped around right here and i actually tracked him all the way up to this point here so i thought if we come back here in the morning we there's a really good chance he should be over here bedded and sure enough look where he's bedded right there but i mean he's out in the wide open we have a couple of spruce trees, you know, kind of behind there, but it's going to be super, super tough to get close to this thing. Look at that. He's so smart that he's right out in the wide open like that. The big old bucks are like that. They stay out in the open so they can see danger coming from a long ways away. But we got to try and be smarter than him. But there he is right there. Look at the size of that block. He's only 150 yards out and man, is he incredible. So he's actually better right there. Now, if you look, there's actually a spruce tree, maybe like 40 yards behind him there. And what I wanna do is keep that tree between us and him so we can use it for some cover. And anytime he looks suspicious, we're gonna go prone. Now we have the collar. We could potentially use that if we need to. I'd rather not. I'd rather just get a perfect broadside or a quartering away shot, but we'll see. We'll see what we decide to do here. It looks like we're running on a cover, actually. Yeah, we gotta be careful. We cannot run on a cover. If we can just get to this clump of brush. We should be about 40 yards out. Okay. We made it. Now let's just get to an opening here. Nice little pocket. Why? 
God. We're 30 yards away. That's his rack right there, guys. That's his rack. We just snuck up to 30 yards from this absolutely incredible buck. We don't have a shot, though. We got to just try and ease our way a tad bit closer. Pay attention to that buck, though. My God. Oh, my God. Come on, cover. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we have full cover. We can't get any closer. This is it. This is going to be it. But there he is. Right there. 28 yards away. Holy. He's actually quartering a pretty good bit, but I don't mind that angle. I just want to square up a little bit more. Try and get behind that sun. A little bit too much there. Okay, there he is. 25 yards away. I'm just freaking out right now. I can't believe how big this buck is. Now, we gotta hold low. Definitely gotta hold low. I think we're gonna take the shot though. Yeah. I feel really confident about the shot. Oh my God. He actually got up right when we took the shot. <gasps> but we smoked him. He was quartering away so much. that we got some good penetration. Wow. That buck was so smart that he actually reacted to the shot and tried to basically dodge the arrow. But luckily enough for us, we put it right on the money and here he is. One incredible giant buck. Oh my God. Let's take a picture of him. That's going to be it. Let's pick him up. Holy, he's a huge diamond. A 320 giant diamond muley. We took him at 28 yards and pulled off a quartering away left lung liver intestine shot. So we actually made a perfect quartering away shot on that buck there. But it was just a reaction after we took that shot where he got up and turned. But look at that incredible buck. Wow. Holy. He ended up weighing 443 pounds and we tracked that thing for I don't even know how many miles. Ended up sneaking up to 25 yards away and smoked this giant diamond buck. That was one of the coolest diamonds that I've hunted for sure in 2021. To be honest, I didn't think we would get that buck. I lost his tracks for so long. I just started doing huge circles looking for tracks, just basically spot and stock, trying to find embedded out in one of these openings out here and it just didn't work for so long. And then daylight came and the same thing kind of happened. And well, it definitely paid off because we spotted him right out here in the wide open and we got ourselves a giant diamond buck. So in case you're wondering, we got the giant diamond muley over here by two fawns and it was about 2100 at night. He was right here bedded and we took him down right there. All right, now it's time to find a spot for our giant diamond muley. We got an OG diamond here. We got a huge wide rack diamond here. That's actually, I think our biggest wide rack diamond, 328.5. And I think we just got him the other day. And then this is a 325.2. But the one that we got today scored 320 and he looks incredible. We're gonna have him right there looking just like that. Why is this guy turned so much? There we go, it's a lot better. So this guy is a super, super wide, but really tall rack on him. He does have kind of two drop tines, which makes him very, very unique. 
Um, but that's him there, 320.1 diamond Truac Muley, and we got him today, snuck up on him at about 25 yards and smoked him with the bow. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.